grace and peace be unto you from God our Father and from our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Week in and week out, a petition of the prayers of the people is always for our elected leaders. Whether we voted for them or not, we pray for them. Whether we like them or not, we pray for them. Whether we look favorably on their policies or not, we pray for them. As Christians, that's what we do. There's no such thing for us as, as a complete separation of, of church and state, evidenced by us Christians regularly keeping our government leaders in our prayers. St. Paul writes to Timothy, I ask that supplications, prayers, petitions, and thanksgivings be offered for everyone, for kings, and for all in authority that we may lead a quiet and tranquil life in all devotion and dignity. To that end, I invite you now to pray with me for our new administration on this, their inauguration day. Tonight's prayer was composed in large part by the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops. I will follow that prayer with one that's attributed to St. Francis, a prayer that is very familiar to many of us, and I think very apropos for the days we live in. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, you have revealed your glory to all nations. God of power and might, wisdom and justice, through you, authority is rightly administered. Laws are enacted, and judgment is decreed. Assist with your spirit of counsel and fortitude, the President of these United States that his administration may be conducted in righteousness and be eminently useful to your people over whom he presides. May he encourage due respect for virtue. May he execute the laws with justice and mercy. May he seek to restrain crime, vice, and immorality. We pray for President Joseph Biden, Vice President Kamala Harris, those soon to be cabinet members and all in authority who care for the common good that they may act with loving care in all that they do, protecting and defending the rights of all, especially the weakest and most vulnerable among us, and fostering a sense of unity among all citizens. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. 
Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console. To be understood as to understand. To be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned. And it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. May God, look, may God bless our nation. May God bless us all. Amen.